Hello, and welcome to the Perspective Chaser podcast. I'm your host, John, and this is episode one. Today's episode is going to focus on looking behind the curtain of creating a podcast. I thought this would be an interesting place to start for myself and for everybody else, because obviously it's going to be a topic with a lot of questions around it, and I'm going to give you as many answers as I can while I'm going through it. Um, And really kind of what it's taken to get me to this point. Um, Full disclosure, this is the second time I'm trying to record this episode one. Um, The first time I'd done it, I ran into some troubles, which I'll get into later. Um, But I really want this to be fairly unedited and pretty raw footage, um, a lot for convenience for myself. But without kind of going on too much of a tangent, we'll run through the kind of the formalities and the boring stuff that I've done in terms of um, getting the materials and everything to have the setup that I've got here. Um, and then I'll get on to what I want to do with the podcast overall going forward. Uh, so let, let's get started with kind of equipment. Um, I got a pretty much run of the mill camera off of Amazon. Um, that actually got me into a bit of trouble yesterday when I was trying to record the first episode because I'm not a cameraman. I don't know what I'm doing in terms of running all of the equipment. I really am kind of learning on the fly here. Um, so when I tried to record the episode the first time, the quality that I was recording in was a lot higher than I wanted. Um, I was recording in 4K and after about 13 minutes of footage, I had a 4 gig file. Um, and like I say, I'm not very much in the know when it comes to all video editing and everything else, but for me that that's just too big of a file to be dealing with at this time. By the end of the episode, I had three separate files that I would have had to merge together and then I've I've got a 12 gigabyte file. Um, currently with what I've got running with internet and everything else, it, it's not practical for me to be trying to upload something that large. So coming back to re-record the episode, I've lowered the resolution. So now I'm recording at 1080, whereas before I was recording at 4K. Um, I'm still running an external mic. I'm not sure how that will affect the file size, but I'll let you know once I've kind of got more information on that. There's still a lot that I'm learning along the way. I kind of got to a point where there was there was nothing to do but to, to start really. Um, but to get back to the equipment, in return, in in terms of microphone, I went with wireless microphones. I don't like the idea of having a big boom in my face and headphones on. Um, because I wear glasses, headphones are just going to be restricting. And when I get down the line and I can do more of what I want to do with the podcast, I want it to be a lot more open and a lot more flowing than being closed off, have, having headphones on. And for me, that's just uncomfortable. I like to be relaxed. I like to have as little going on in that sense as possible. Um, so hopefully when I do get to the point where I've got guests on, this feels very much like a casual conversation more than an interrogation or anything like that. Because that, that's the polar opposite from what I want this to be. Um, Beyond the camera and microphone, I've, I've got myself a laptop to be able to edit the footage and do everything else. I really am going to have to be a one-man band with this. I'm running cameraman, audio, and I'll be editing, uploading everything. Um, but that's just because that's what I have access to at the minute. I run a very busy schedule, and that's how I'm going to have to start this off. Hopefully down the line, I'll be able to expand and have more people and run things a little bit more efficiently. But I think it's very important to learn as you go. So even if 
I was in a position where I could afford to pay somebody else to be sitting by the camera, making sure everything's recording fine, making sure the audio is clear. Learning firsthand boots on the ground like this, I think there's going to be a lot that is going to help me improve. And I think that's kind of invaluable information in that sense. Um, in terms of actual war equipment, I've, like I said, I've got the, the camera, the microphone, my laptop. That's pretty much it. And I've got a tripod. Um, and then I literally just decorated up this room to a point where I was happy with it. Um, I wanted to start the podcast off already being on camera and um, just kind of have the setup ready just because that's the kind of person I am. I'm a bit of a perfectionist in that way, even kind of doing it like this, there, there's more I'd still want to do to this space and more I'd like to have for the podcast, but I'm not in a position where I can have all of that right now, but I am in a position where I can start the podcast. So to avoid putting it off further and to get things going, I wanted to just make a start. And then I suppose once we kind of get away from the equipment and everything else, we get into the concept of why I wanted to start the podcast and what the podcast means to me. Um, and personally, I love talking to people and pursuing this gives me an avenue to do that in a way where it benefits more than just myself. I heavily believe that every person is living a very unique experience with their own perspective in life and everyone will approach a problem differently. And the more we communicate about how we approach life's problems and how we fare in each situation, the more knowledge and experience the next person will have to go on and do better. If everyone worked under that ethos, I think the world would be a lot, a whole lot of a better place. Um, that's kind of the core concept of it is kind of sharing information, sharing life experience with one another in order to help each other lead a better life in that sense. Um, for me, it is important to, to kind of share your experience. There, there's so many different possibilities in life that having, having all of the experiences to me seems impossible. So the, the only way you can cast such a wide net is by having other people experience things and tell you about them. Um, you can't experience the polar opposites of your life, um, of life, sorry, in every way. And I, I spoke to somebody about this before and they, um, they disagreed with me on it and they basically said that they see both sides of kind of a good and bad upbringing. But even that in itself is a very individual, um, a very individual scenario that um, not everybody's going to kind of see that kind of side of life. Some people are just going to have a good upbringing. Some people are going to have a bad upbringing. Like the, the needle is going to fall all over the place. Um, but there are lessons to be learned through all of those, whether you had a good upbringing, bad upbringing, have a good adult life, a bad adult life, whatever it is, there's lessons to be learned in the experience. So this podcast to me is a place to share that experience, either my own experiences or my guests experience. Once I get to the point where I can have guests, um, at the minute, Time is um, very limited, so trying to schedule guests and everything else with everything else I've got going on in life is very difficult, but there will be people that come on and have conversations and everything else. It's just a matter of when the schedules line up.
that I could have held off um, starting the podcast until, like I say, everything aligned. But I don't think there's any benefit in doing that. I think there's going to be far more benefit in starting where I can and building up from there once I get to a point where I'm doing this on a regular basis and I'm in the routine of it it's going to be far easier to accommodate getting other people on even if it is in the middle hours of the night like I am now or um, earlier in the day that once it becomes a habit or once it as it becomes part of the routine I should be able to plan around it a lot better for now this is very new to me this is literally the second time I'm sitting in front of the camera recording so this this is going to be a massive learning curve um, to kind of go on this little, little adventure with the podcast I guess um, it, it does interest me and in the, the range of people that I could could talk to to me is just fascinating um, but it is all about starting and if I if I don't start sitting here talking by myself I don't think I, I would get to the stage where I can sit here talking with a guest not for a while anyway like I say there's a lot of things I've got going on personal life work life and everything else this right now is extra Hopefully in the future I can get it to the point where this is more in the center. Um, but for now, this, this is something I've got to build in the background and bring into the foreground later. I mean, it might be so for yourself, depending on how much time you've got. But I think the biggest thing to tie it back in creating the podcast is you get to a point where no amount of preparation or theory is going to get the job done you've just got to take the leap and that goes beyond um just a podcast i mean you could design the best cv or resume in the world but if you never put it out or never apply for the jobs because of fear of rejection then you're never going to get anywhere so no matter how much preparation you make eventually you you get to the point where you have to take the leap now everybody's got their barriers that they need to overcome while they're pursuing that and that's fair enough but it's down to you to see what barriers up there are for you for me it took me a year to get to the point of just planning the podcast talking to people about it and just saying, like, oh, I'm going to do this one day. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to work towards this. I, I need to work towards that. When I first kind of thought of the plans of the podcast, I had no equipment. I had no laptop. I literally just had my phone and existed in my own little bubble in life. Um, but once I had the idea for it, it really was like an itch that I just couldn't scratch. And any time I get that free thought, it comes back to the podcast and what am I doing to progress it and um, yeah for me it really is just like even in the kind of pre preparing the space when I painted the room white um, I kind of felt like I was on autopilot like I, I literally con consciously thought to myself at the time like I feel like I'm going through the motions like this is the story this is the arc of how the the podcast studio began um, because it wasn't like this beforehand but obviously in order for the podcast to look the way that it does and for me to have this space the way that it is somebody had to decorate it somebody had to build the chairs put the panels on the walls and everything else it doesn't just appear but that's all the the background stuff that you don't really see um in terms of podcasts for the, for the most part whenever you see this it will literally just be coming up on whichever platform it's on at the time and it'll be look looks like a studio and a guy sitting in front of a camera and everything's good but um 
there was times where this felt completely alien and I feel like an imposter. But at the same time, I think that's good. There's, there's nothing wrong with feeling a bit uncomfortable and a bit out of your element. I mean, personally, I think that's where you do your best growth. If, like I said, if I never, if I never tried this, if I never started with one dodgy episode, I'm never going to get to a good episode. Um, I was talking to somebody earlier and it, I used the kind of analogy of you could practice the, the theory of saving a life for years, but never actually have to deal with the real world situation of doing it. And once you're in that real world situation, you freeze because you've never had to deal with the pressure in the moment and thinking with everything going on around you. So again, it comes back to the point where no matter how much you prepare, eventually you need to jump. But you do need to consider how often you jump and how ready you are to jump. I, I could have started this podcast with my phone and just recorded some really, um, not even necessarily dodgy because phone footage these days is quite good, but to me, just some really kind of butchered together podcast. Um, but that's not what I want to put out. Although I don't want to put out perfect content, I don't want to put out that either. And that's, that's not talking down to that style of content. It's more so that how... To me, how you kind of want the world to perceive you, even in day-to-day -day life, not on camera, is important. So starting with a kind of podcast below my own satisfactions, it straight away goes against my own morals. So I'm going to be far less likely to be consistent with it or look forward to doing it. Whereas after putting in the work that I have to get everything to the stage where it is now, I'm happy to sit here and do this podcast and talk for as long as I can. Um, I feel like I, I can disconnect, although I'm still in my house. Um, I feel like once, I, once I've entered this room, I do kind of switch into, okay, it's time to work, it's time, it's time to go into podcast mode. And I, I, don't, I don't think I'd have that if it wasn't for having this kind of designated space. Um, I am very lucky and fortunate in order to have the space to obviously do this podcast here. Um, but just kind of having a space where I know once I'm here, it's, it's only for me to podcast. Um, that's going to be very good for me mentally, I think, in order to kind of keep me on track. Even before I started recording here, I had to, I was toying around reducing the, the camera quality and, and that. Um, and straight away like it was like the procrastination switch just couldn't turn on which is good um again I, I just got hit with that itch of okay cool like are you ready to record Do you know what you're going to say and this and that and to be honest I don't know what I'm going to say but I was ready to record because I know this is what I want to do um I don't want to script any of my content i want to talk as freely as I can it it will get awkward or not awkward but it will get difficult for me because I, I do tend to trail off and I'll go on many tangents I'll do my best to kind of veer back to the original topic um and hopefully you stick around for the ride but um I will have an intention for each episode and I will try to stick to that as much as I can um, but beyond kind of the basics in terms of like setting up the podcast, there's still a lot I'm going to learn once I've got this footage, um, finished up, recorded. I need to see how big the file is going to be before I upload it. 
I'm going to start uploading this on YouTube simply because for me it seems to be the easiest place to start. Um, it was very easy to kind of set up the channel on there and again it once you get to the point where it's just like I'm going to go for it, um, it is straightforward. You, you can sit there and procrastinate on it for weeks, months on end and kind of make every excuse under the sun but until you kind of peer behind that curtain and see what's going on, you're never going to know. And once you do look behind, you realise it's never anything that impressive. Um, a few years ago now, I used to work in security and we had all access. We went places where nobody else could go. Um, one of my friends, uh, we used to talk, like he would be on the roof of one building and I'd be walking around another site and we were literally just laughing and joking and just having a good time and that. But like we always kind of had this inside joke of like nobody kind of knew that we, we was there always in these places. Like he was standing on top of this roof on whatever floor it was and he could see all these people below him but nobody could see him and um like you, you kind of you you build up what's behind the curtain to be something magnificent and once you step behind the curtain once you go to a, a few nice places or kind of a few big events and you, you kind of see how that kind of world works you realize that they're just people it's just an it's just another world um it yeah they they're just people like it might be run differently they might um operate a little differently or whatever else but really and truly like it's never what you've built it up to be it's always just like oh yeah it's just a bunch of people cracking on do you know what i mean like um and I think doing the podcast is very much like that. That's why I wanted to title the first episode Stepping Behind the Curtain. Because I think this very much is that. For me for me anyway. Because beyond sitting here and recording myself talk doing doing the podcast, I, I'm not sure what else to do in that sense. So and once I've got guests here and we're having a conversation, um, maybe I'm just being overly naive, but I fail to see the complexities in it. Um, again, like the, the production side of things, I'll need to edit the footage and upload it and everything else. But um, I don't think it's anything out of anybody's wheelhouse. Like, again, you manage your expectations. And if I wanted to put out top of the line um, content and everything else, then yeah, I'm, I'm going to be screwed. Um, I need, I need to accept the level that I'm at at the minute and build up on that for me anyway. Um, the old saying kind of don't run before you can walk. I think, there's a lot to be learned in the first episodes and in, in the creating that is going to pay forward a hell of a lot down the line. Um, in terms of um, in terms of setting up and everything else um, There wasn't much that I really struggled with. Every, everything really is kind of point and shoot or click and use. Um, it's fairly idiot proof in that sense, um, luckily for me. <laughs> but yeah, there's, um, again, I don't want to oversimplify it and say there's not, there's not that much to it, but at the same time, I it's not overly complicated either. It's not beyond anybody's reach. Anybody, if you want to, if you want to do a podcast or you want to do a different type of channel or 
start a business, as long as you go for it and you're persistent, like you might not succeed the first time. The the first time I tried to record, it, it didn't come out great. Um, this one, it may, it may not come out great. That that's fine. I could look back at this a hundred episodes down the line and cringe my heart out. But I would have never got to that hundred hundredth episode if it wasn't for this one here. So regardless of how I feel down the line, this has to happen, this has to play through. And for yourselves, that will be true as well. Your failures have to happen for your successes to come through. So don't be afraid to fail. If, if you fail, that, that's fine. Try again, try something else. It's again, it's down to yourself to kind of self-analyze and see what's worth pursuing. For me, this podcast is an itch that I had to scratch. Um, sitting here, I've, I've got a lot going on uh, in my personal life. So doing all of this and um, trying to build this podcast, it's a lot of extra work. It would be a lot easier for me to just kind of sit back in my job and just go, cool, I'm just going to, I'm just going to be like everybody else and do my job, go home and live a quiet life. But that doesn't satisfy me. That I've never wanted to just work for somebody else. If you do, that's fine. But for me personally, I don't understand it. I've always wanted my own company, my own business, my own empire of some sorts. It's, to me, it's, why do it for somebody else if you could do it for yourself? By all means, learn the ropes and everything else. But eventually, you can do it yourself. There, there's nothing to say that um, you can't start your own thing, no matter what walk of life you're in, no matter what industry you're in. Um, I mean, you may not even want to start a business, you may want to go the complete opposite way and live a simple life and go back to kind of primitive living. <laughs> you, you never know, if, if that's what makes you happy, that's fine, pursue it. But you'll never be able to pursue it until you finally bite the bullet and do it. Um, and for me, doing the podcast is just that, like, whether whether this is successful or not, I had to do it because it would be the biggest, most irritating little voice in the back of my head, probably for the rest of my life, just saying, what would have happened if you did do it? Because if I do it and I don't succeed, that's fine. I know the answer. I know what happens when John tries to make a podcast. He fails. Okay, cool. That That's fine. Question, answer, case closed. But if I never answered that question, it would bug the life out of me. So I have to answer it. Um... And funnily enough, my mum always used to say that I could talk for England. And oh, I guess I am in a sense now. Uh, I, do like the, <laughs> I do like the sound of my own voice in that sense. <laughs> um, but yeah, so in, in terms of the podcast, it, I think it really was inevitable for me. And in terms of topics that we're going to cover, I really do want to talk about every aspect of life that I can. I really am intrigued by it all. It's, I, I think there's something to be learned from every walk of life. Don't get me wrong, there are, there are things that I'm going to have a preference to and everything else. But, I mean, I find myself fascinated by the weirdest of things at times. And um, I just go down these rabbit holes. And there's lessons to be learned along the way. Do you know what I mean? Some, sometimes you don't realise what you're learning or that you're going to learn anything at all. But there, there is something about just kind of talking to people and that shared experience that for me, 
it's a great opportunity to learn. I love it. Um, there, there is, there's a certain beauty to somebody that's good at storytelling. Um, somebody that you, you could literally just sit there and listen to for hours. Um, <laughs> I guess I'm trying to be that now. Uh, funny enough. Um, but yeah, I don't know, like that kind of that storytelling arc and just you know, like genuinely without any opinion, just sitting down and kind of hearing about somebody's life and what they've experienced and what they went through and what they took from it. Like you, you have your own thoughts about it and are, if I was in that situation, I would have done this or I would have done that. But again, it, it's nice to, for me anyway, to, to hear how somebody else has dealt with something and then again, compare it to how you would have dealt, dealt with it or how somebody else you know has dealt with that situation. There, there's so much to be learned. Like, and it, if we just share the information that we each get from these experiences, there's no limit to how much that we can learn. But that information has to be shared. Um, and hopefully this is a place to do that going, going forward. Like I say, it's, it's going to be something where I'll be having as many kind of conversations as I can, even with myself or with a guest at times. Um, and hopefully we can bring you stuff to make you smile, make you cry and never know maybe learn a thing or two along the way but if you've managed to stick with me this long through the first episode i really do appreciate it i will be back with episode two next week until then take care and thank you again for listening